Idol US champion Emily and Kieran from San Francisco. It's Fred and Fred and Ginger and Ginger. <laughs> The mainstream competition doesn't allow us to dance, same-sex partners. They actually define a couple as a man and a woman. We get to not hide, we get to celebrate who we are. It's about community and it's about politics. It makes it very different when you then finally get to dance with the gender that you actually prefer. Dancing is going to be one of the last bastions of homophobia to fall because it is, as some people describe it, a vertical expression of a horizontal desire. Dance relationships are so intimate in a way that kind of no other relationship is. Two. No. Now you can't. He's going to start talking about my control issues, but I. See, I didn't have to say it. <laughs> I saw that drugs was destroying my beauty, and I freaked. If I'm destroying the only thing that I had, which is my beauty, what do I have after that? I didn't want to actively kill myself, but if something happened and I was no longer around, that would be just fine. And it took me a year to come back up. And dance was a huge part of keeping me on the planet. I thought the first time I should see him dance was live. So I think the gay games, is that where we're going in Cleveland? Is the first time I'll ever see him. We have almost 200 dancers from countries all over the world. The energy is amazing. It just takes the roof off. In the day of the competition, you're just so raging with adrenaline. You could chop your foot off and you wouldn't feel it until tomorrow. It's amazing that they do this whole event. I'm like, I'm still sort of like, I don't believe it. World Championships here at Gay Games 9. Five dancers, six couples, three million rhinestones. Here we go. If you love to tell your friends, if you didn't, tell your enemies. Good night.